Hello everyone. Let's solve the first problem from Lead Code Weekly 333. That is merge 2D arrays by summing values. You are given a 2D integer array nums1 and nums2. Nums1 of i that is consists of two values that is id of i and val, val of i indicate that the number with the id i as a value equals to val of i. Fine. Similarly for nums of 2 as well. So what we are given is two arrays 2d arrays nums1 and nums2 where each element in nums1 is a, another array of size 2 in which the first value is an id and the other is a value each array contains unique ids and is sorted in ascending order by id fine merge the two arrays into one array that is sorted in ascending order by id respecting the following conditions only ids that appear in at least one of the two arrays should be including included in the array that means the id that we are considering has to be present in at least either in nums1 or nums2 fine each id should be included only once in the final answer right and its value should be the sum of the values of this id in the two arrays okay what that means is say we have in nums1 we have a value a id say 2 and the value is say 4 this is nums1 similarly say in nums2 we have the same id but with value what 5 in the final array answer our the id 2 would be there but the value would be the sum of these two values that is 9 okay if there were only like either in one of them if 2 was present in either of either of them then that would be only 4 so that's what our question is demanding Res return the resulting array the returned array must be sorted in ascending order by id okay let's take the first example we are given this and this and we are getting this what is happening id1 id1 the value of this id is 2 and 4 right that is 6 6 id2 this is id2 present in this one no so we are considering only this value that is 3 similarly for 3 3 is uh, three, id 3 is present in nums 2 only the value is 2 so 2 goes in our answer for 4 4 is present in both of them so we take the sum of both the values right and this is ascending in ascending order by id 1 2 3 4 similarly for this one right okay so our approach is pretty much implementation based like what we are given two arrays right there would be same ids or different ids right and they will have a um, value right so what are we supposed to do we need to merge them right so we have for one we have these two values right x plus y we have two only present in this one not in this one the value is z we have three only present in this one the value is w say okay what we are going to do is that we will first go through nums1 any of them we will go through one of them at first and we will record whatever we have in that one in that array so if we go through nums1 you have one and x two and z fine now we will go through n2 what do we have we have one and y okay but we see that we already have one okay so what will we do we will do the sum of the values now we will go to the next that is three we will record this new value say we have another say four k we will go through we will go to that and uh, record this new value right so we are kind of getting the idea that we will we might have to use a map right why because we are going through these arrays and storing the uh, storing the id as well as the what the value right then we are again going to the next array and we are checking if that id is already present in the store that we have created so our ha a hash map makes that job easier right so what we are going to do is we will go through nums1 right and add 
the values or to say this um let's take this example only let's take this one only we'll go through nums one and we will record this in the map for one it's two for two it's three for four it's five now we'll go through nums two we go we see one is already present yes what is the value it's four we add it to two it becomes six now we go to next three comma two that's not present let's add it okay now let's go to next four one four is already present id we add this one to five we get a six so our answer will be one six two three then three two need to have it in a sorted fashion right and four six so this is the idea store the values in a hash map and then copy that data in the form of an integer array right because we have to return it in this way right all right what is our task we will first create a map a map of integer and integer the first one is a is the id and the second one is a value New hash map fine okay now let's go through the first array that is nums1 let's call it a we are doing a for each loop nums1 we will put the id and value initially because there is no way we will encounter that key before right because we are going through the first time fine the, uh, I, uh, the data from nums1 is recorded now go let's go through nums2 and a nums2 now we will see if the id is already present if the id is already present what is the id a of zero if it's present we will put what this new mapping the id and the sum of the new value and the sum of the previous value right fine if the id is not already present we will put this of a fresh mapping a of 0 and a of 1 fine now we have recorded our data now let's create our answer array say answer new int what will be the size the size will be the size of the map right because we will have that many keys means that many ids and that many ids will go into the uh, answer array right and this will be two for the value id and value okay let's keep integer i equals to zero now we will go through each key in the map dot key set right simple thing now what we will do in answer of i zeroth zeroth index of answer of i we will put the key isn't it and the first index of answer of i we will put the sum or the value right and we will move up return answer also we are supposed to sort our array right here in the example we can see that they are already sorted but they can't be right there can be other test cases so we won't take the risk we will sort it sort what answer on the basis of the what the id fine we can we can make this shorter answer of i goes to new array of the key and the value fine and we can increment it right here so let's try to run it what is it oops okay okay there is no difference let's submit fine accepted now what is the time complexity first we are going through 
nums1 let's say the length is n then we are going through nums2 say m then we are going through all the keys at max if there are all unique keys that would be another of n plus m and then we are sorting the array how many entries in the array uh, elements of m plus n the number of keys right plus n n plus m or m plus n whatever you say so overall it's overall it's o of m plus n only log of uh, m plus n log m plus n the space complexity is o of n plus m because we are using a map then we are using a this answer array right so this is pretty much our solution if you like this video do uh, hit the like button share this and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye